we're going to do, do some solar cooking. Yeah, I've been wearing my earbuds. I've uh, been out in the yard cutting grass listening to Jack Spearco. I know. I hate him myself. Yeah, what it is. Shush it, lady. She don't. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Anyway, guys, what we're going to do, we're going to use the Dutch oven with the spider legs. That is the one with the three feet on it. Those are called spider legs. I don't know what. She just nattering on and on back there. We're going to put in a couple of onion, and then we're going to do some small potatoes. We're going to cut them up, and we're going to use what? I said you stole that thing from Dirty Santa and broke the family's heart. I did. I, I did. We, we had a dirty uh, Santa, and I stole it. And, uh, a lot of people are. and, oh yeah, I mean, I had to leave before everybody else because they were so pissed off about that. I love it. Georgia Boy smoked sausage, and it is a buttload of sausage. It's interesting. I've never used this uh, before. Made in Alma, Georgia. So, to all of my uh, people that watch in Georgia, thanks, guys. Anyway. We're going to get everything going, get everything cut up. I may try to find a bell pepper. Shush it, lady. Okay, guys, we cut up. We're going to do a small batch just to see how this goes so we don't waste any food. We're going to do two pieces of sausage. That's one. We've done that. What were you saying? I don't need no comments from the sick bed there, lady. Uh -huh. Two pieces. We're going to cut up some onion, got some already sitting out, and then we're going to get it going. More to come, guys. Okay, guys, now we're back, and I did add a little bit of Italian seasonings in there to it, and my wife had suggested that we add some rice in there to it just to, to bulk it up a little bit, and that's a great idea, but I would have to sit out there and stir it every few minutes. I'm going to be outside cutting grass, so I'm going to check on this about every half hour. Now, uh, I did add some uh, liquid to it. I added uh, a beer, just a generic, regular beer. You could do chicken broth, beef broth, or just regular water, whatever you could, uh, you know, whatever you had, to uh, just give it a little bit more of a flavor. And actually, as it cooks, it's going to uh, generate some of its own liquid as well. So, we're about to go set it up outside. Okay, guys, now we're back. I want to show you what's happening. I've set this thing on here for about five minutes and you can see we are at a temperature of about 312 is the highest temperature. I saw 340. That's really not what we want though. It's cooking that one piece of meat. It's actually burning that one piece of meat right there. You can see. What we're going to have to do is kind of configure everything and get it situated. We may need to uh, put the top on it to uh, just let it heat up and simmer and cook, which will be a lot slower cook. Oh gosh, it smells fantastic already just doing that little bit. Um, but it, it's very refreshing for the fact that in five minutes, that piece of meat right there is well singed but you know it's not ideal we're going to put the top on this thing we're going to let it heat up we're going to have to find the ideal temperature see the funny thing about this right here it's it's about 100 degrees down there it's 300 i'm not putting my hand down there that is what will get you so everybody that i've talked to about this says really be careful wear sunglasses when you're doing this because when i look away i can't see anything um, and that might be uh, what we recommend to everyone who does this. So, more to come. We've got to get the top on this. So, there we go. We're cooking. I'm doing it this way because I'm not going to be around. I'm not really sure how well it's going to do with the lid on it. Can't find the perfect focal point as it sits. So, we're just going to do this. And uh, more to come, guys. Okay guys, now we're done with this. It's about 5 in the afternoon. And it was able to cook. And it did really well cooking under that frontal lens. And I showed you some of the, the parts of it. Now the kick in the butt was finding the focal point. Because 
I had one spot that was 700 degrees and I obviously couldn't put it on 700 degrees because it would just burn the meat like uh, like that that guy right there that is uh, what touched at 700 but it's delicious so the hard part was finding the sweet spot to where it would heat up evenly and cook that being said it cooked it very well everything is done the potatoes are done onions obviously are done the meat is done but using the frontal lens and just this pot don't think you can put it in here and walk away from it it's a kick in the butt I had to come over and turn it and stir it every 10 or 15 minutes so while I was out here cooking or while I was out here cutting grass I would have to stop periodically and turn it and stir it and turn it and stir it which in and of itself is no great deal it's really good I like the sausage it's very mild I think my wife will like it as well but there are other solar ovens we can put something in and the temperature around it is so consistent that you don't have to babysit it so much this was great and it was freaking hot I burned myself once uh, taking the uh, uh, cover off uh, the cover uh, the lid was about 400 degrees and I actually touched it and oh lordy Jesus so I mean you really got to be careful with this I'll get better at it I like it but it is not a set it and forget it kind of uh, silver cooker so, so guys that's going to be about it for us in just a second you're going to see a picture of my ugly mug and my beautiful wife pop up on that side and on the opposite side will be some uh, videos if we are indeed your brand of wacky if you would take a look at those and uh, hit the subscribe button of course did you know that she told me that she thought my hair was receding I may kill her take care of you people